Hey, what is good everyone? Welcome back to another chill video on Godot 4. Today I'll be highlighting some really neat features that the Godot 4 team has worked on to allow us game developers to make the best games in Godot 4. So without wasting any time, let's talk about rendering. It is no secret by now that Vulkan has become the new default renderer from Godot 4 and moving forward. This change definitely took time to finally complete and I have to say, I'm truly happy with the new renderer. And for those who would prefer Direct 3D, 12 from the docs they say that they have laid out the foundation to allow for other types of renderers to be supported so there could be a future where direct 3 could be implemented but for now nothing is official another new iteration to godot 4 is the ability to enhance your atmospheric effects by introducing sky shaders which will allow us developers to create dynamic skies that will update in real time as demonstrated in the video and for those who work in 3d environments you'll be able to utilize the new decals feature to add dynamic effects to decorate your 3D environments. Godot 4 has improved the GPU particles as those now come with support for collision, trails, sub emitters and manual emissions and they have also added support for uniform arrays amongst other things. One big switch for Godot is that they have dropped bullet physics in favor of their own Godot 3D physics engine. However, this implementation has already been present in recent Godot 3 versions. Godot 4 comes with further new improvements that range from animation, scripting, GD extension, UI and text, audio and multiplayer. Movie Maker arrives in Godot 4, which allow you to create better trailers and cutscenes for your games along with recording procedurally generated animations or motion design. However, do know from the time of this recording, Movie Maker does not support capturing real-time footage during gameplay as of yet, so do keep that in mind. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, Please hit that subscribe button for more info on Godot 4 and other improvements on other game engines in the future. Do stay tuned and I'll definitely catch you guys in the next video. Stay blessed.